If you wanted to become a freight broker, but you weren't exactly sure how it all happens and how you get started, if so, we're here to help dispel the myth that there's just some magical load board full of available loads that are ready and waiting for you. That's not the case at all. The most effective way for freight brokers is actually the old fashioned way, by building relationships. Not only can this open up more doors, it can also be an incredibly rewarding experience. So don't wait any longer. With a little hard work and dedication, soon enough you'll have loads coming from all directions. Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, welcome to our channel. I'm Nate Cross with Freight360. And in this week's video, we're talking about the sales process for freight brokers. If you're new to the channel, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification icon to make sure you stay up to date on all of our latest content. So let's talk about freight brokering versus other types of sales jobs. Making a name for yourself in this business might be a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it. Lead generation and cold calling will become your best friends. Now think about industries like car sales or mortgage generation, selling insurance, and even selling houses. All of those sales require finding a new prospect every single time, but that's not the case with freight brokering. You can establish enough trust with a potential customer that they'll add you to their roster without replacing somebody else. It's both a challenge and an opportunity. So what are you waiting for? Let's get out there and start making some connections. Let's look at some of the advantages of the sales environment that we live in as freight brokers. With the right on-time performance, the good communication and good commitment, you can quickly and easily build trust with a lot of shippers out there and continue to get their loads. That's the advantage. You don't have to convince every single shipper every single time to give you a load once you've built an existing relationship with them. All you need to do is for them to trust you enough to give you a shot with that first load. Plus, once you move that first load, if it went well, then chances are good that there's gonna be even more loads where that one came from. The best part about our industry is that instead of needing a new customer every time you wanna move a load, there's continuous loads coming from all these different customers out there. It's not that one-to-one -one ratio like other sales industries. So what are the disadvantages in our industry? Well, before you get a load from a customer, you need to understand your value proposition as a freight broker. Is there something that you specialize in? Do you have a specific carrier base that's located near your prospect's locations? Do you have drivers consistently looking for backhauls out of those areas? Are you selling yourself on communication and does it provide added value to your prospect's needs? Maybe some of your customers are also delivering at a prospect's location? These types of questions can help you articulate your strengths so when you're brokering, trust and value can be established between you and your customer. Additionally, consider other ways to offer something special that sets you apart from the other brokers with access to all the same trucks out there. Demonstrating your ability to think creatively and go above and beyond what's expected is likely to leave a lasting impression on your customers. I wanna talk about the whole jack of all trades mentality. We don't wanna be the jack of all trades. Forget that we can handle everything type of approach. In our competitive market, it's important to make prospects feel like you are unique versus everybody else and capable of handling their specific needs. Showcase your expertise and let them know why you stand out from the dozens of other calls that they got this week. Demonstrate that you specialize in one area or another so that they know they can count on you to get the job done. If you're just starting out and you haven't exactly determined your competitive advantage yet, don't worry. Your best bet is to start engaging with potential customers and asking them lots of questions. Listen closely and make sure that your focus is on meeting the needs of your prospects. Remember, it's not about what matters to you, it's about what your prospects need. Make that the priority and you'll be well on your way to success. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.